Why do young animals toss objects into the air, chase one another, or engage in mock fights? Given that such behaviors can consume hours of a young animal's life, suggests that having a little fun is beneficial. Having the luxury to play provides an opportunity to practice combat skills without getting injured as well as a means of establishing one's social status among peers. Young birds of predatory species are fond of manipulating objects, in part because they are visual creatures. Presumably, during bouts of such object play, young raptors learn how to handle live food without the risk of being injured. But not any play toy will do. Objects that typically attract a young bird's attention are those that resemble potential victims. Most interestingly, how a bird plays depends on its sensory and cognitive abilities. For example, species with highly developed forebrains, such as ravens, parrots, and raptors, have fun playing with objects, performing aerial acrobatics, and socializing for fun. Take, for example, a young crested caracara, trying to subdue a clump of moss that resembles a field mouse in size and color. This particular bird left the nest with its sibling three days before this video was shot, and at the time, both juveniles were entirely dependent on their parents for food. Why is the young caracara having so much trouble staying upright, or was it intentionally falling down? Although it seems to be enjoying itself, its clumsy attempts suggest that the juvenile lacked the strength and coordination to handle live prey. Does this mean that bouts of play are essential to becoming a competent hunter? Not necessarily, but a little practice wouldn't hurt. Also, playing with food, provided by a parent, may help a young bird recognize potential prey when it comes time to hunt on its own. Soon after a bird hatches, the amount of time spent playing increases for several weeks, and then rapidly declines as if a neurological play switch is turned off. During this short, sensitive period, young birds, depending upon the species, learn how to sing, how to negotiate difficult flight maneuvers, and among predatory species, capture prey. While crested caracaras typically forge on the ground, most other raptors ambush their prey from the air or branch of a tree. In late summer, we encountered a young red-shouldered hawk waiting patiently to be fed. As if to keep from getting bored, the juvenile attacked and manipulated a nearby clump of vegetation. With the play switch turned on, acting out certain behaviors are known to alter development of neural pathways in the brain. For example, chemicals are released that help the young hawk learn new skills as well as developing lasting memories. Purportedly, changes in the brain chemistry also enhances the hawk's pleasure as it fiercely attacks its illusionary prey. Struggling to grasp the fern, we waited for the young red-shouldered hawk to fall out of the tree. Fortunately, its parent landed nearby and distracted the bird before it lost its balance.